this week's Ask APT is brought to you at Brisbane Airport, as you can probably hear in the background. I was asked this week about reliability of hydraulic systems and you know, should they be reliable, should we be able to rely on them and uh, you know, things like leaks and breakdowns, is that a normal part of owning a hydraulic system? So if you look in the background you can see the aircraft that I've probably just got it off and um, as I ponder that question I certainly hope no is the answer. Now aircraft use a lot of hydraulic systems um, for the, the wings, the steering, ailerons, all of that sort of stuff and obviously it needs to be 100% reliable. So I guess the answer in really, really short terms is of course our hydraulic systems can be 100% reliable. Now the systems are built to be redundant, so there is more than one system. But think about the other side of it, about leaks and breakdowns. A simple hydraulic leak or an oil leak on, a, on an aircraft would be pretty disastrous. Uh, it, not only would it make a mess, but it's going to affect other things and possibly start a fire. So if we apply this back to our normal everyday systems, we should be able to have 100% reliable, leak-free hydraulic systems. And on a site, it's something that we should be applying or trying to achieve at all times, no matter what. So some of the things that we can do to look after our hydraulic systems and make sure that they are reliable is really basic things like inspecting them, checking for leaks, making sure that hoses are routed correctly, they're not rubbing, done up to, they're done up to the correct torque, not over torque, not under torque. But also things like in the design phase using the right components and the right equipment to make sure the system is going to be reliable. So that starts with everywhere from actuators, valves and all that sort of stuff, but also in things like hoses, fittings, connections, elbows. Excessive fittings, excessive elbows in a system all contribute to things like leaks and not using the right type of connections will ultimately result in leaks as well. Other things to look at are the life cycle of the equipment and typical life cycle management of any type of equipment should include how long it's supposed to last and um, ensuring that we change it out before it fails rather than doing a run to failure. So this week's fairly short. Yes, we can have reliable hydraulic systems. Yes, we can have leak-free hydraulic systems. And as a part of our maintenance on site, we should be aiming to make that happen. Run to failure shouldn't be the, the normal. It should be an out of the ordinary. That's this week's Ask APT. Hope you got something out of it. Have a think about it. Leave any comments below. And um, as always, get in touch with us with your questions.